This is the acid multicell, 10 parallel reactions, and pressures up to 50 bar standard and 200 degrees centigrade. I'm just going to show you now how to dismantle and assemble the unit and one or two of the features you need to know when using it. So when you receive the unit, it will be locked in place. It's locked in place by this plate here. This plate um, is what takes the the the, stre or the strength of these rods underneath locked to this plate um, is what holds it together under high pressures. It's not held by these two thumb screws, but these are used just to dismantle it and assemble it. So first of all, we have to undo the safety valve. This would release any pressure if you're in use, but not for the first time, of course. And then we have to actually turn these clockwise a little bit. This takes the strain off the safety lock plate and we're able to move that into the open position. Once we're there, then we start to evenly unscrew each of the rods. Until they're both fully unscrewed, we can feel the threads come to an end. And then it's a case of lifting and separating the unit carefully. Let me show you some of the other important things to consider with the multi-cell. Each of the reactor heads has an O-ring. The O-ring seals on the inside of the reactor vessels. For this to seal effectively, um, it's designed such that the O-rings have to be energised to a reasonable pressure before they will actually seal. So until you get to two or three bar of pressure, you may not have a full seal on every cell. Um, it's designed to operate at pressures of you know, normally 10 bar plus. The cells, the reactor cells themselves, you may think they're a little bit loose, but that's how they're designed to be. It's so that they all align easily and it's easy to remove. So let's put it back together. I'll show you how to carefully um, put it into position that it could be used safely under pressure. So just winding these down all the way until we can't turn them anymore. Okay, so they're both fully wound down. Um, these are not designed to take the full strain of the pressure. This locking plate is the key part. So that needs to be turned to the left, the lock valve opened or closed I should say. This will stop it from being movable here whilst there's still pressure applied. Once we've done that then we turn these anti-clockwise and lift up the unit until we can feel a little bit you know, of, of tightness and then we've got it locked on the plate and it's now safe to use at 50 bar. So hopefully that's been very helpful to you guys using it for the first time.